Now, the play that goes wrong is an Olivier and Tony Award winner, currently playing to packed out houses on both the West End and Broadway, and now it has reached New Zealand. To tell us more about this hilarious show, please welcome to the cafe one of the production's founding members, Nancy Zammett. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, firstly, massive congratulations on the show. Thank you. I've only heard good things. Um, and on also your wedding recently, you married a Kiwi. I did, yeah. A couple oh, of years yes. ago. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. So, yeah, he's great. Trip out here meeting the in laws, how's that all gone? Um, sorry, I didn't understand. Trip out here, <laughs> meeting the in laws, it's gone like this. <laughs> That's how it's gone. <laughs> Being me, just being like, what did you say? <laughs> Honestly, I've said the most stupid things to people because I can't understand what everyone's saying. <laughs> but it's been really good. They, they've they come to the UK a lot and I met maybe 50 different people on Sunday. So it all happened at once. Oh, right, well, that's so half been... in New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best I way to do it. it. did it all. <laughs> and um, I do believe that you, you know, you, you've come to Auckland. You're going to be seeing a lot more of the country, but you arranged a surprise party for your other I half. did, yeah, which made it more intense than it needed to be um, but I tried to get in touch with all of his friends from Auckland and basically everywhere around New Zealand even someone flew in from Sydney um, and surprised him by knowing the people that he used to know already, so it was really, really Aren't nice. you a good wife then? I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Sounds good. Anyway, let's get off the wifey things and back yeah. to the show. Uh, so this show, tell me a little bit about it. started in a London pub. Yeah, we started it in a tiny pub theatre called the Old Red Lion. Um, we rehearsed it in effectively a tunnel <laughs> which was leaking. Um, there's a joke in the show where the set falls down and actually the the flats in the rehearsal room fell down on top of the set that falls down <laughs> in the first <laughs> rehearsal room. It was really not glamorous, but we started really, really small and it's just grown and grown and grown and grown and grown. And I, I don't know, it's just been a completely amazing thing. You don't ever think that when you start something so, so tiny, basically in front of your friends and family and anyone that you can bribe to come and see it, that you'll ever get it anywhere. Be on Broadway and West End. You never dream of it. You mm. never dream of it. It's a great success story and the reason why is because it is, honestly, the clips that I've seen, <laughs> such a good play. So for those that don't know the plot, I guess we can understand what it is in the title, but can you explain a bit more? <laughs> it really does exactly what it says on the tin. Like it is just a play that goes completely wrong, but it's, it's about a bunch of really bad actors putting on a terrible murder mystery play and it's very sort of quintessentially British. Um, but it's a it's a comedic farce. It has sort of hark backs to Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin. And if anyone's ever seen Forty Towers, it's very like Forty Towers. If anyone's ever seen, everyone's seen Forty Towers. <laughs> I don't know. I've been in loads of different countries the last couple of weeks, and like <laughs> you never know who knows what. <laughs> We're seeing it. You're lucky. <laughs> Great. You're safe. It's kind of like all of that mashed together. Um, but essentially, it's like. You know when someone falls over on the street and you want to laugh at them but you can't because it's not polite. Uh, it's basically a bunch of people falling over and you can laugh at them. <laughs> oh, that's so, just and you get to smash stuff up on stage as well. So much stuff and people smash up people on the stage. Whoa. <laughs> and There's a lot of fighting in, going on. And what's your role in the play? I, um, well I used to. Huh? <laughs> I originated the role of the stage manager Annie um, who is a kind of really quiet stage manager type. She doesn't want to be on the stage ends up being very much on the stage. Uh, I won't give too much away, but she has a huge storyline where she goes from being completely backstage, very, very shy, to like really aggressively fighting for stardom. Oh, so it's good. a really, really fun plot. It's obviously quite physical as well. Did you break a foot doing this one? I, not this play, but uh, the sequel to it, Peter Pan Goes Wrong. I broke my foot because uh, I was doing too much dancing. <laughs> bit too much dancing. <laughs> bit too much terrible dancing. Yeah, there's been there's been a few injuries. It is genuinely dangerous because we, we are, we're that way inclined as a company. We just really like push a lot of physical boundaries and we're not sort of acrobatic trained or anything like that, but we've... We're almost there. Like We've trained ourselves up. Well, let's take a look at some clips that we've got. For those of you at Go home, you, honestly, you are going to love this. You've <laughs> got to get along and see it. But if you need a little bit more tempting, take a look at this. It's, it's about the murder of a, of a wealthy man um, on, the e on the evening of his engagement party. It's not to everyone's taste. Ah! 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 
Yes, they were, well, there was a woman who said that she enjoyed the end. She said it was very moving. She enjoyed that it ended. And she said she was happy to be moving on. I'm doing this because I need to get an electronics mark for me module. So hopefully after this, I won't have to retake it and then I'll never have to work with them again. <laughs> some of the actors are bad. Uh, and some, well, I'm just being honest. You, you have to be honest in interviews. Oh, it looks so good. Now, <laughs> I was just thinking, now that you have sort of passed on the role of Annie, yeah. do the other actresses get intimidated by you oh, no, being I in the not. audience? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I hope not. I'm uh, an associate director for the company, so I actually assistant direct a lot of the recasts of the shows that we do. Um, so hopefully... <laughs> I'm not I've I've gained the skill of not being intimidating and not putting my own stuff into what they're doing. Every it's a it's a kind of a clowning show, so every group of actors that does it makes it their own. There's a lot of audience interaction and that kind of stuff. So if you're doing exactly what the last cast did. Right. It yeah, doesn't really work because oh, you're just copying someone okay. else. Um, what about, tell me a little bit more about this audience interaction. I'm always a little bit concerned when I go oh, along no. to something and it says audience interaction. It's not like forced, like you have to get up on you stage and you right have now. to do this Don't right now. Awkward. You're no, the no, no. I really hate that too. I just, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it. But I think people get so involved. Sometimes they shout stuff out and because the whole concept of the show is that there's no fourth wall not to sound super actory on you, but uh, um, there's no there's no fourth wall. So anything that happens in the audience, we pretend is happening for real to the actors. So, so people are really well, laughing. Yeah. yeah, people are really laughing. As an actor, you can take that laughter in and like you either react to it in a in a nice way that like they're laughing and you laugh with them, or that it's devastating for you, and. It's like it's making everything much worse because people are laughing at you and you're trying to do a serious play. Well, I know a lot of people in New Zealand are very excited it is here. Good. So thank you for organising the show here in New Zealand. What are you going to be doing while the show's on? Are you going to see a bit more of New Zealand? And then what's next for you? I'm going to do a full <laughs> New Zealand tour. I'm being taken around everywhere. It's, it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be amazing because I've never been here before. So it's and are you going to move exciting. here and live here, or is it too <laughs> Maybe. quiet for you? I don't know. I'll have to see the whole, <laughs> the whole place first. Um, and then we're going to come back when it's back in Auckland and see it there. Um, and then fly back to the UK, do some filming with the company again. Everyone's on holiday now, nice. which is really nice. For the first time in about four years, we're having a holiday and we're all missing each other loads. And we're going to come back to London, do some filming, do another couple of shows and then see where we go. Excellent. We'll make the most of your time here. It's been a pleasure having you in the studio. Thanks so much. The play that goes wrong opens tonight at the Wellington Opera House and is then heading to Christchurch and finally Auckland. Now for all of the show and ticket details, you can go to playthatgoeswrong.co.nz.